Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Resident Evil 4. So from this point forward, well, not for the entire game, but for, I think, most of the rest of the game, we are going to be protecting and escorting Ashley. So, in a sense, Resident Evil 4 is almost an escort mission turned into an entire game. It is a testament to the genius of this game's design that instead of being obnoxious and intolerable, this is actually really fun. So, let's go ahead and make our way out of the church, check our map. So we're supposed to head for the extraction point. There it is. All right, so it looks like in order to get there, we're going to have to go through the graveyard, the tunnel, back into town, through the farm, make our way through a door that we haven't been through before and it's still red, and then through some unfamiliar territory. So we've got a journey ahead of us. Let's get to it. So Ashley actually had some useful advice for us, namely, blow up the barrels on that wagon, which takes care of most of the ganados for us. I'm not going to bother with the others, though there are some items I'd like to get, so I might have to deal with them a bit. Wait. Stay there, Ashley. Now, as it turns out, I was mistaken slash misremembering that Ganados only spawn Plagas if you headshot them. Headshotting them might make it more likely, but they can still spawn Plagas even if you kill them normally, i.e. without headshotting them. Follow me. So one of the things that makes this fun, there's a variety of them, is that... Oh no, it despawned! unfortunate. Uh, but one of the things is uh, for an escort subject, Ashley has a pretty good AI. Uh, she doesn't generally do idiotic things and get herself into trouble or killed. And she... you can issue her a variety of orders. Uh, the basic orders you can issue her all the time are stay and then follow me. Uh, but even that is actually extremely helpful. Because you can tell Ashley to stay behind you a bit while you engage in some fighting to keep her out of the melee. And, you know, she holds up pretty well under the circumstances considering that she's just, well, I guess average civilian isn't quite correct since she's the president's daughter, but, you know, a non-combatant. She maintains her composure and follows orders. And doesn't just lose her crap. Which is another reason I think people don't give her enough credit. Anyway, let's go ahead and head down into the tunnel. Back to the merchant again. How you doing? Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. So the reason I said I wasn't entirely sure about my decision to expand the ammunition capacity of the handgun, but by the time I started second-guessing that I had already done it, is because we're about to get a new, better handgun. So goodbye, Punisher. You are being sold. You served me well. What are you buying? The new handgun is the Red 9, which kind of looks like a Luger, I think. Ah, a choice of an avid gun collector. It's a nice gun stranger. I'm not really sure why it's so incredibly powerful, but it is, so 
we're going to go ahead and buy that. And oh, we get to play the make room in our case minigame again. Uh, let's see. We do have three free spaces. We need two more. This might take some rearranging. In fact, tell you what, uh, I'll rejoin you after I've rearranged my case a bit. Okay, that was easier than I expected, and I needn't have done the cut. That took me about 10 seconds. But we made the 4 by 2 space that we need. So one downside of the Red 9, it does take up a lot of space for a handgun, but it'll be worth it, trust me. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now that we've got that, and it uses 9 mil ammo, which is very, very plentiful. What are you buying? So getting a significantly more powerful weapon that uses a form of ammunition that's very plentiful seems like a good deal to me. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> So after upgrading its firepower, it now has a firepower of 1.8 times a normal handgun, almost twice as strong. We'll be able to upgrade it even further than that in the future. Now its capacity is kind of low, so we will increase that. And as long as we're here, I'm also going to increase the ammunition capacity of the shotgun. Mm, it's expensive, but I think I'm going to increase it all the way to 10. When we reach the end of this chapter, we'll see why I wanted to do that. Um, might as well increase the firepower of the TMP. Thank you. Do I want to max out the capacity? I think I'm going to hold off on that. I don't think that's necessary right now. Come back anytime. Oh, don't worry. We will. Speaking of the availability of handgun ammunition, uh, I don't think that there's any point to destroying the lantern again, or the lamp or whatever. Not that one anyway, however, there is a point to destroying this one again. Stand back, Ashley. It explodes more than you'd expect. Because there's a spindle in there. All right, and now we're about to return to the village, Pueblo. Now, this is another part of the game that gave me a bit of trouble in my practice run. The villagers have become far more threatening now that they can spawn Plagueis. In that sense, the Red Nine isn't so much a luxury as a necessity. There are more items so we can get around town, not nearly as much as we could when we first came here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around town, collecting all the items, and just trying to deal with any villagers that we come across as we make our way through town. They don't attack in a huge swarm like they did when we first came here, but there's enough of them to be threatening for sure. There's also bear traps scattered around town. We're going to want to be aware of. Keep an eye out for those. We don't want to stumble into them, and we don't want Ashley to either. Nothing here has really changed, so we don't need to recheck anything. It was gross before, and it's still gross now, is pretty much the gist of it. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I think I got everything in here. Seriously, Leon, why? Why do you insist on doing that every time? Ashley much more daintily comes through the window. Doesn't feel the need to do the superhero action roll. Uh, hmm. 
Let's see. Check my map real quick. I thought maybe there was a uh, herb. Good lord, my words. I thought maybe there was an herb here, but apparently not. I wonder if we're less likely to get spotted going through the upstairs. You might think we'd be more likely to get spotted, because now we're in a high location, but not necessarily. There we go. TMP ammo, that's pretty valuable. Even handgun ammo is more valuable now that we've got the red nine. All right, anything else in here? Couple of barrels, handgun ammo, and some pesetas, very nice. Okay, I think the only building we haven't checked yet is the one across the way from here. Yep. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't gotten spotted yet. Alright, more pesetas, and I think there's going to be a spinel at the top of the tower. So that's our next destination, and then we're out of here. We're done with the village. Okay, there's the tower. We're almost surely going to get spotted going here. No? Holy crap. Alright, there's the spindle. Well, you might as well just stay down there, Ashley. Oh, well, Hraya is not perfect. That's uh, some pretty good moonwalking, though, I gotta say. Or either that or there's an invisible treadmill there. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, okay, so I accidentally triggered a pretty funny Easter egg, which is if Ashley is above you and you look up to, you know, get a look up her skirt, she has that reaction. I obviously didn't trigger it intentionally, but that's pretty funny. Though the camera gives us plenty of upskirt shots without us trying to sneak one ourselves. Alright, well, there's no way we don't get spotted here at the exit from the village, so... And I'm going the wrong way. So I think what we'll do, if we do get spotted, is take shelter in the two-story house. Okay. Anybody chasing us? All right, get in here, Ashley. Wait. And then just stand there. Well, come on in. The enemies still aren't too bright. Oh, they managed to... Okay, there's a Plagus. So I'm not going to mess with those things. Out comes the shotgun. They're incredibly deadly. They have a really long scything whip vine. Does tons of damage and its reach is incredible. Yeah, you see how that was almost able to hit me from all the way back there? Okay. Oh, it's still alive.
Mm, this is irritating. Got it. How's that for a blind shot? But yeah, Ashley, like I said, she just follows orders. She's standing back, not freaking out while we're killing these horrible monsters. Oh boy. Who now? Da 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 da. You coming? We got spotted for sure. There he is. Come on, buddy. On the upside, now that I don't feel the need to try to go for headshots and I just aim for the center of mass, my accuracy should be a lot better. Anybody else? Follow me. Oh, crap. Another one. I'm sorry for defeating them in this lame manner, but if I were to just run out... Oh, look at this sneaky guy. Or lady. If I were to just run out, there's a pretty good chance I'd get flanked and surrounded and it would go real bad. Oh, he stabbed Ashley. That piece of crap. Well, now Ashley's pretty hurt. And again, she takes that pretty well, all things considered. Uh, hmm. We're definitely going to need to heal her at some point. I'm going to be incredibly cruel and hold off for now. Follow me. Some bodyguard we are. But yeah, that happened to me in my practice run. I really got surrounded. Did not go well for me. Oh. Okay. Shotgun time. I really have trouble when a guy is trying to melee me and another guy's throwing weapons at me at the same time. That's just not a situation that I'm good at dealing with. Great. We made a Plogus. We made two of them. Alright, you know what? Uh, flash grenade. That'll take care of them real good. Get wrecked. Insta kill. Okay, and it seems like the flash grenade set off those traps for us. Well, let's go ahead and reload our weapons. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. Ashley took that one hit, which was unfortunate, but hey, first try win, and that was pretty much the only thing that went wrong. Yeah, that went pretty well. I will take it. Here's another thing that's pretty cool about the epic Ashley escort mission. There are certain areas where we can tell her to hide out while we clear the area. Hi. If you hit the right button. Now as far as I know, she'll be completely safe in there while we clear out the farm. Oh, is that a blue coin that I never shot? That one's incredibly obvious. How did I not see that one? Oh well, ended up not really mattering. A note. Sarah in the third party. The whereabouts of Sarah are still unknown. Most likely he's using an old secret passage taught to him by his grandfather who used to hunt in this region long ago. Man, Luis has it rough. He's got two girl names, Sarah and Luis. I'm just kidding. I, I know it's a Spanish name, but it's, it's actually not a girl's name. But I'm just being silly. I'm pretty certain that he's hiding our, pro hiding our property somewhere in the forest. If his grandfather was still alive, I would have used him to find Sarah. But how did he find out about the egg injected into his body? And the fact that he was able to remove it before it hatched is concerning. Hmm, so Luis had also or Luis had also been injected, but he was able to remove it. 
So if he was the one who rescued us and left the note for us before, why would he have said that he wasn't able to remove it from us if he could remove it from himself? Hmm, mysteries. Another factor that concerns me is that Sarah escaped with our property just before the American agent arrived. I don't believe that was just a coincidence. There has to be another player involved in this. In order to settle this whole situation, we have to capture Sarah and wait for the effects of the drug to wear off before we inject him with another egg. Once this is done, whoever is behind all of this will surface. Nobody shall interfere with our plans. Those who do shall suffer severe consequences. Consequences, you say? Well, that depends on your ability to enforce those consequences, now doesn't it? And I think you may have bitten off a little more than you can chew with old Leon. Oh, there's somebody. Let's see if we can sneak up on him and take him out without alerting the others. It is nice having a handgun that's almost twice as powerful. It takes about half as much ammunition to deal with the enemies. Well, that's a lot of folks, but I have a plan for dealing with them. Adadado indeed. Adadado right over here, guys. Alright. So, climb up. Knock the ladder down. Now, one issue with this is there's a couple of punks right outside the window. We're going to try to put a damper on our plans. Ha! Ah, nice try! Okay. Now, are the others coming up behind us? Yeah. Hmm. I don't feel like taking chances. There we go. Quickly reload this back to full. I think I just heard a guy right behind me. Sure did. Nice try, punks. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Lord Sadler yourself. Okay. Well, I was touch and go, but it worked out. Yep, and that guy was the one who tried to sneak up behind me while I was up here. Well, I think that takes care of all the enemies around here, so now it's looting time. Handgun ammo. Oops. I wanted to climb down. Whatever. Leon doesn't understand climbing. Just kicking ladders down. Then he jumps down after him. That's the kind of guy Leon is. A moron. Nothing in that one. A green herb, very nice. Okay, I think that's all the treasure. So, let's go call for Ashley. Oops. Well, it probably would have been easier to go around the fence rather than daintily climbing over it twice, but Hey, at least her pathfinding got her here. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> Again? <laughs> I'm not trying to look at anything, Ashley. Calm down. I'm accidentally triggering that Easter egg left and right. 
not even getting to take that naughty look to do it. Though, like I said, the camera just gives us plenty of free upskirts without us having to be pervs and trying to do it ourselves. As much as I've praised you, Ashley, I don't trust your AI not to cause you to walk right into one of those, so... Okay, um... Aha! More stuff in here. More money. Money is always appreciated. And now, we couldn't get through this door ourselves, but now that we've got a companion with us... Good job. I've been joined by my cat. Howdy, merchant man. What you got for us today? Welcome. Sorry, I didn't mean to clip my gun right through your face. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. That was probably kind of uncomfortable. What are you buying? Hmm. I still don't quite feel like it's necessary to. Apply any further upgrades. Firepower maxed and capacity maxed on both the shotgun and the Red 9. Firepower is maxed on the TMP. I think that's good enough for now. Oops, I meant to sell. What are you selling? Right before this game, I recorded the LP of Zone of the Enders, where the confirm and cancel buttons were the opposite of what they are in this game. Which just makes things very confusing. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Those spinels add up fast. All right, what's coming up next is one of the more memorable parts of the game. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear it. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down, though we can't determine who. Great. I feel like I'm playing a Command and Conquer GDI mission all of a sudden. I want you to head towards the extraction point. Got it. Can I have a mammoth tank for backup then? But yeah, this this next part of the game is pretty memorable to me. Hopefully not a Jill sandwich. Leon. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... well, you know. Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. <gasps> Look! Ashley, upstairs! It's game time. Luis isn't wrong, though. She is pretty stacked. But we have more important matters to attend to right now than Ashley's figure. Like the horde of Ganados trying to break into the cavern to brutally slaughter us all. 
This is a very, as I said, memorable part of the game to me, and very intense. I'm going to be making fairly heavy use of the shotgun, but I'm a little lower on shotgun ammo than I'd like, so... I am going to have to try to conserve the shotgun ammo when I can. Okay. Dang, spawned a plaga. That is not ideal. Another thing about this part that I think makes it really cool, and I mean it's just inherently cool, this whole situation of this horde of enemies laying siege to the cabin, but something that makes it even more awesome is that you have a competent combatant AI helper with Luis, who in addition to firing his Red 9 pistol that he's got like crazy at the enemies, We'll also toss helpful items to us from time to time. And in normal mode, at least, I believe he is immune to damage, so we don't need to worry about hurting him with our shots, which is very nice. I don't think that's true in hard mode, although I'm not sure. So I use the flash grenade to kill the two Plagas and give myself some breathing room to get in a reload. And hopefully the opportunity to finish some enemies off with the Red 9 and not use up more shotgun shells. Trying to stay here in the corner where I can keep a bead on the whole room. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn it! Didn't see that guy. You son of a bitch. Not a plaga. Mm. And I was reloading right then, too. Okay, no, 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 no. This is a shotgun situation. I'm worried about survival, not conserving ammo. Ooh, okay. I haven't gotten the Plaga yet. That is tough. Okay, got it. At least sounds like he's still got the situation mostly under control in there. Whoa! Okay, when he says that, we're going to want to get up there because the enemy has ladders that they are using to get in the upper level and I'm gonna wanna push the ladders down okay whoa 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 push the ladders down when you're not getting attacked by enemies not a plaga not a plaga okay doesn't seem like it is ah cheap shot alright we need to heal for sure Uh, okay, yeah, let's combine that with a red-green and get a max health up and full health refill. There we go. Okay, um... D damn it! Damn it! Oh, no, okay. Uh, I need both to kill that Plaga and give myself some breathing room. This is intense. This scene. All right, uh, reload and then start shooting. All right, let's start collecting. You, yeah, he's almost right. I think you have to kill like 40 enemies before the scene ends. Where the heck did that guy go? Um, hmm. Okay, good lord, how's that guy not dead? Okay, situation seems somewhat under control. Where did that guy even come from? Okay, not so under control anymore. Um, let's see. Uh, let's eat the egg. And, hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna be ready to use another flash grenade. Okay, more shotgun shells, good, good. Get out of here. All right, Louise, take care of the guy behind me, please. And there is another one right there. Don't make a plaga, okay, good. All right, do I have a moment to reload? Oh, this guy, okay, he's gunning for Luis, not me. Whoa, that was close. Did you see that guy come right behind me? Ah, crap. All right, situation's getting hard to handle again. Give ourselves some breathing room. Oh. Phew. like they're backing off so what do we do now the bridge i crossed to get here is out so i guess we have no choice but to keep moving i forgot something you guys go on ahead lewis 